Okay, we're in the shop. We're working late tonight on my daily driver for this winter. This is my 1970 Honda N600. It is my daily driver, like I say, and um, I converted it from power brakes to manual brakes. My power brake booster, uh, I think it just rotted away. I think the diaphragms went bad, and they're available. Parts are available for both the the hydraulic part of the of the power booster and the vacuum part. However, I think I penciled it out and it was like $700. And I'm like, oh geez, that's a lot. So I went back to manual brakes. However, the car is biased heavily on the front um, due to the disc brakes and the power brake booster just being on the front. So what I did is I took Oh, I was having problems with the rear brakes locking up too early. So this is a um, adjustable brake proportioning valve. Uh, the stock N600 does have a little valve there, but it's not adjustable. And uh, I put this in. I had to adapt the fittings because there's no metric adjustable proportioning valves, only standard. So I had to cut and flare some new fittings. It took me a couple hours to get that in there. But I now have adjustable rear brakes, or I should say adjustable bias for the rear brakes, and I already like it. So that's one thing I got done. The other is my little van, my chameleon van. I haven't worked on this in a while. This is a 1969 Subaru 360 van. I painted it, got the windshield cut, and or the windshield made and fitted. And I've been working on it slowly, slowly, slowly. And tonight I've been working on the dash. I'm going to paint that and the rear seat. I fixed some of the upholstery tears and rips. There's one there, there's one there. And the hatch is now on, which is the top part. The tailgate's now on, and they all function as they should. I've got some buffing compound to clean up there. And I've got some issues with my spacing here. I've got a piece of tape on here so I don't scratch it while I'm adjusting it. Put the seals in, that type of thing. Now I'm going to get this going. It's a very colorful van. Some like it, some don't. It changes colors uh, in the sunlight. And I'm working on putting the interior in, all the lights on, all the final things to uh, make it a runner driver. It is now sporting my new license plate there that I had made up. Since I've got a registration free plate for the back and only a plate for the back, I thought it'd be cool to have that on the front. And I got the bumper all polished up, the overriders all polished up there. Just gotta put the headlights in and the vent and some more lights. So that's what's been going on. I cleared out my paint booth. My buddy picked up his motorcycle and I got rid of a bunch of junk. So I can actually paint in there again now, and that uh, makes me feel really good. So I'm going to head home, my daily driver, and maybe work on my project. Hopefully I can get that finished up soon. All right, thanks for watching.